Hey guys, welcome back to my discussion on Power BI. So today I'm going to talk about one more uh, feature of Power Query Editor that is text transformation. So in my last video, I discussed about how we can transfer a column and how we work with the different options of Power Query Editor. I also uh, discussed about the types of data type that are available in Power BI Desktop. And we also uh, show a uh, a practical implementation of uh, the types of data types and how uh, we can change the data type of a particular column and assign a different data type or how we can just transform a column uh, from a decimal to a integer data type. Now in this uh, today's uh, discussion I will be take, talking about a different scenario where actually we'll be extracting some date uh, option from a text format. There will be scenarios coming across your, uh, your roles and responsibilities where we'll be working with trans, trans, extracting various form and various types of data from text or numbers. So for this example, I'll be using uh, some account information details where I will explain you or I will try to show you how we can extract the date from a particular text format using some powerful power query editor so guys let's begin and see how we can just implement some of the concepts of power query editor through some effective examples so we have uploaded the data to a power bi desktop and as for the rule this is a navigation window where we have selected the table from the data set this is a, a account information table that contains the period descriptions, the transaction details in terms of uh, text format. So our area of concern will be working with this column, where, which is in a form of text. And we need to extract the start date and the end date. And we can also, we have to also find the number of days. So by the end, after transforming this data, we'll be creating a simple text table in Power BI Desktop as a report and we'll see how we can just extract the start date and the end date from the product description column. So in order to access the Power Query Editor window, we need to click on Transform Data. So we click on this Transform Data and we'll be navigated to the Power Query window. So here is the Power Query Editor and we can see the data has been uh, up updated over this power query editor window guys i just wanted to give you a piece of uh, tip before i proceed further with this example it is always considered as a best practice uh, whenever you try whenever you connect any data source uh, to your power bi desktop application i would suggest you always go to the power query editor by selecting the transform data options from the navigator window it is always considered as a good practice or the best practice i must say to always evaluate your data in the power query editor and look for the best transformation that we can get from that particular data set with my years of experience working with power bi i found this practice very helpful so you should always go to the power query editor and see if there are any transformation required for the data set however if you are aware of the structure of your data set and the nature of your data still i would suggest that you should always transform the data or need to always visit the power query editor window and look for any beta transformation which is always I consider as a very good practice before you start working on the next level of data analysis considering your data set. Now, coming back to this particular example, we will be try to extract the start date and the end date from this particular product description column. Now, before that, we need to keep in mind certain things. We need to see if this data required certain kind of uh, wear and tear before we proceed with the transformation or the text transformation process. Now, if you watch minutely, the first column 
is the period which contains certain numeric values. And the second column contains the period description. And the third column contains the period ID. So this is a typical transaction details what we can see where the certain description of the period and has been captured in this particular tabular form. Now, so our, uh, our scenario will be, we need to extract the start date and end date from this particular column. So what we can do, we can just split this column first. Now, Power Query gives us a lot of options to split this column. The first option that we have to either to select this column and select a split column option for, from here. Now, this particular dropdown has a lot of other options like in terms of delimiters, number of characters, positions, non-digit to digits. The other way to split a column is doing a right click over the column and you have to select the split column options from here. Over here also you'll get the same options that are available in the ribbon. Now, let's select this column, click on split column option and select by delimiters. So delimiter is nothing but the types of separator that is used in a particular text format or any other uh, single text or in a sentence. So over here, the delimiters that we can see are types of our space, comma, and there are two types of delimiters are available over here. Now, before you perform the split uh, column, option what we can do we can just remove some of the unwanted rows from here so we can see that the first and the last row of this data actually contains the text from where we cannot extract the date so what we can do we can just remove these two columns from these two rows from here so you can just click on this arrow option over here and you have you can select the number filter option And over here, you can just select the does not equal option over here. Now, once this pop-up window is appeared, we can just select over here as zero as the first row and you can also select the does not equal option from this particular drop down and you can just type it over here as 13 and click OK. The moment you select this does not equal number filter option from the period column you can see the two rows have been removed. Now Let's start with the second step that is splitting this column. So before I split this column, it's always a good practice to create a duplicate of this column so that it doesn't lose any data. So what I have done, I just created a do a right click over here and selected the duplicate option. Now we can select this particular column and you can just click on this split column option over here and select by delimiter. Now, there will be a pop-up window coming up where, where you need to select the delimiter that you want to get separated. Over here, we, in this particular window, we can see there are a lot of options available. Either you can select the delimiter over here. You can either select colon, comma, equal sign, semicolon, space, tab, or you can also customize your uh, delimiter option over here. So what we can do, we can just ignore this particular option, select or enter the delimiter. We can select this particular option, each occurrence of a delimiter. Why? Because in this particular text, there are, there are a lot of delimiters. There are two types of delimiters that we are using. First is the space and the second is the comma. So for each occurrence of the delimiter, you can the text should be separated. Now we have selected this one and we can just click on OK and here is the magic. So we can see the moment we have selected the, uh, our each occurrence of delimiter, this particular column 
has been splitted into months the numbers over here the month name over here and the period over here the years over here now what we can do we can remove these two column over here the month column and the number column so you can just select these two column and over this under this home menu you can select the remove column option from here and you can just select this remove column and these two column is removed now the next step is that we are left with the month name column and the year column so what we can do we can just select these two column by pressing the control key from our keyboard and we can just do a right click over here and there is an option over here called merge column so we can just click on this merge column option and select the comma option over here and click on ok now the moment we click on ok what we can see there is a single column has been created over here with the month name and the year now the data type of this column is by default is a string data type that is ABC so what we can do we can just right click on this column and you can just change the data type to date now the moment you click on this uh, date we can see it has been converted into a a date column now we can what we can do we can just change this name over here and we can just click double click on the column header and you can just name it as start date now so we, our first column is ready what we can do we can just again duplicate this particular column in order to get our end date now you can just click on this and click on duplicate column and you can just name it as so you just got this column called duplicate column over here now in order to convert this column into an end date you can again have to do a right click on this column go to transform and in the transform option we can see there are a lot of time uh, element over here related to year quarter month so what we can do we can just select the month and you can select this option called end of month now you can see this column will be converted to the end of the month so first of april 2019 to 30th of april 2019 so what you can do you can just name this column as end day. you can further do some more uh, operations over here like uh, if you want to know the number of days for each month so again you can just create a duplicate column over here and you can just right click on this column and go to transform and you can say uh, day days in month you can just select the days in month option over here and you can see for each month the number of days has been populated you can also change the header of this column where you can just name it days in month now you have seen how i have com uh, actually uh, completed this process and i have uh, transferred this text column into a meaningful set end date column and has added new column to this particular data set so this was a typical example of a text transformation where we extract a date from any text form where the date is 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 recorded in a text format now what we can do we can just close this power query in the meanwhile you can see the steps that i have performed all has been recorded over here
in my earlier video i have given an uh, explanation about this session where your all the steps that you perform on your particular data set gets recorded now you can just select the close and apply over here in order to make these changes and load this table to the power bi desktop report session So we can see the data has been uploaded over here. So what we can do, we can just build a simple text table out of this particular data and see how uh, the transform column is looking into a particular text column. So I've selected a text column from this visualization. This is a text, text table and we'll upload this data over into this table. So uh, let's see, uh, this is a table, we have got it and you can just drag this data over in the value section over here days and you can bring the start date over here you can also bring the end date and we can just drag this a, a days month in over here and we can see how the data is getting populated so this is a simple text table so what we can do we can just uh, select the end date over here we can just select this table over here and you can select the end date and go to this modeling part to change the format of the date so the modeling not only the modeling part you can just go and just in the column tool we can just go and change this format to date month and year Now, once we select this particular format, we can see that the format of this particular start date and end date will be changed. So what we can do, we can just uh, remove the date hierarchy over here and we can just uh, select the start date from this drop down, and the same thing we can do for this end date also. Now we can see the changes will take place in this particular table. And here is our start date, end date, and days in the month. So we can also highlight, adjust this table. And if you want to highlight this table, you can just click on this. And your table will be highlighted. So this was the start date and end date. And this particular date was extracted from a text format. And this was all about text. Uh, transformation guys in my next video i'll be talking about some more options of power query editor uh, which will actually help you to understand the power query in part by part process so at the end of this particular uh, section of power query you will be uh, expert enough to talk about power query and working with power query options uh, thank you for watching this video guys